And our guest this week is Romolo Lalato, a case eight wheat specialist. And we've talked about an overview of what the virtual wheat tour showed. Uh, also something that uh, you and uh, your team had to adapt to, and that is doing a virtual field day. And uh, tell us about uh, that. Tell us about uh, what you told Kansas wheat producers. Hi, Ken. So, yes, as you mentioned, generally during this time of the year, we're doing anywhere from 50, 60, or 70 wheat plot tours throughout the state and talking to growers face-to-face, face face, which is a lot of fun. This year, we had to adapt. So uh, we had this event, which was the virtual wheat field day. It was held Wednesday, May 27th, and Thursday, May 28th. And we had several different topics covered in those two events. So in the first day, actually, uh, I covered some of the wheat variety selection considerations that growers should have, uh, not going into specific varieties, but really uh, based on the cropping system that the grower has, based on his region within the state, based on his previous crop, in other conditions, how should that variety selection uh, decision be made? Then we had uh, Dr. Eric DeWolf, extension uh, plant pathologist with, uh, with K-State. He discussed uh, what's the conditions of diseases around Kansas during the 2020 wheat growing season. We also had uh, Dr. Lucas Hag, the Northwest area agronomist, discuss variety selection for Western Kansas. He went a little bit more in detail into the different varieties that has been, have been established already as good performers and some of the new ones to be keeping, a look, uh, keeping an eye on. That day, we also introduced Kelsey Anderson. She is the new extension pathologist who will be taking place, uh, Eric DeWolf place, as he moved on to a more research position. The second day was also quite interesting. We had the two breeders, uh, Alan Fritz and Guron Zhang, give an overview of their programs. Also talk about the current varieties that they have adapted for different parts of the state and what's coming down the line, right? What's coming up down the pipeline there as new varieties that growers can be expecting for those different parts of the state. We also had Stu Duncan give an overview of uh, variety selection for central Kansas. He is the area agronomist. Uh, for for north northeast Kansas, and finally Aaron Harris with the Kansas Wheat Commission, he gave an overview of uh, of research that is being sponsored by check off dollars from producers. So so by, by the Wheat Commission. So overall, we had that event, and we're also having several uh, demonstration plots that are going virtual. So we are recording those with county agents, and uh, on, on those plots, we're, we're actually making a more local discussion of how different varieties are adapted to different regions of the state. And county agents are sharing those with their growers. And so if folks want to uh, uh, kind of review those field days, those virtual field days, if they weren't able to be there, tell, tell us the YouTube channel. Also, uh, you have a lot of information that comes out every week in those agronomy e updates. How can folks get that as well? Yeah, so uh, agronomy updates, folks can go to the K-State Agronomy website and send an email uh, to, to the extension personnel there to be added to the list. We send that, that information every, every Friday, quite a bit of good information about all the different crops and conditions around the state. Uh, these events, they were held through the K-State Agronomy uh, YouTube channel. So folks can go to the K-State Department of Agronomy on, within YouTube and find that information there. And we're, we're also sharing that in social media through Twitter or Facebook, and that will be uh, at KSU Week in both of those platforms, Twitter or Facebook. So uh, within those four platforms, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the agronomy updates, folks can really get up to date on everything that is going on uh, as far as wheat crop and many other crops go around the state. Romolo Lalato, K-State Wheat Specialist, has joined us. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.